Today, I'm going to be giving you a closer look at this Jade Roller for Facial Massage. Now, I got this particular one from Rose Nice. It comes with a Jade Roller and a Gua Sha tool. The Amazon listing for Rose Nice gives you a couple of options for different tools that you might want. I chose the one that comes with the Gua Sha and the Jade Roller. It comes packaged with the two tools together in this shrink wrap. It doesn't come with any instructions. Today I'm going to be focusing just on the Jade Rolling tool and I'll do a separate review of the Gua Sha tool. Jade rolling is an ancient Chinese medical treatment that utilizes the jade stone, which has healing properties and is semi-precious, and comes in a little wand like this, where the jade stone is just held in between and you use it across your skin. This particular tool has a smaller jade stone at one end and a large one at the other end. I like to use the smaller stone for under eye and small areas, which I'll show later. I have really gotten into using the jade roller on my skin on a regular basis. It's kind of like, for the same reasons that I love foam rolling on my body before and after exercise, jade rolling really revs up the circulation in your skin and can take puffiness out from underneath the eyes, can improve skin elasticity, and promote detoxifying lymphatic drainage in the face. It's supposed to even out your complexion, lessen puffiness in the face, and make a more defined facial structure in the cheekbones, jawlines, and brow area. Overall, for me, it just feels really nice on the skin. It feels like a massage on your face. And because this didn't come with instructions, I had to take to the internet to search for different ways to use this jade roller. I highly recommend that you go check out Gothamista. Rene does a great explanation of the jade roller when she talks about the lymphatic drainage system and the way that she used the roller felt the best on my face out of all the different massage techniques that I found out there. I'm attaching a link below to her video and I highly recommend if you're going to buy a jade roller that you check out what she has to say about it. So I'm starting out my facial massage just by putting on a moisture mist. And I'm using New Skin's Moisture Mist. It's my favorite. Just spray it on to get my face a little bit damp. And then I start jade rolling. So the drainage points in your face are right here by your ears. You want to start in the center of your face and move outward towards your drainage points. So I usually start along the jawline. I have found by jade rolling that I hold a lot of tension in my jawline and in my brow line as well. And this has really helped to relax that for me. And then I actually do roll over my lips. I start from the center of my lips and roll out to this side. And I always take in at least three passes. So I start at the same starting point and go out to the same location, going over it at least three times unless I feel like it's a place where I'm holding more tension or I just want a little bit more and then I will do a couple more times. The stone itself is really cool. I know a bunch of people that will put these in the refrigerator if they want a really cool stone across your face. When I start using this, it's just naturally cool. Even if it's in a warm room, that stone just feels cool. However, if, if you use it for a long period of time, it does start to warm up a little bit. So refrigerating the tool can make it feel really, really nice. Around the nose area, I go from the edge of the nose and sweep out to the side. Now when I come to this under eye area, that's where I use the small roller on here. At first it took a little bit of getting used to because it kind of looks like the top of that tool is going to go into your eye, but now it's really comfortable for me to come out right there. I'll kind of do the side of my eye as well. Now you don't have to use a whole lot of pressure with this, especially at the under eye area. You're going to want to roll over it lightly rather than applying a lot of pressure to that sensitive skin area. Really using this roller along my eyes is so great. I love to do it first thing in the morning when I feel a little bit puffy or tired. And I actually do use that large roller portion and just roll across my eyelid. And that feels really nice there as well. Obviously, you're not going to want a whole lot of pressure on your eye. This is the part of my face where I hold a lot of pressure, apparently, because I can really feel it when I am rolling out here. So I'll start from the center, that little part in between my eyebrows, and then roll across my brow and out to the side. And usually I will do at least five passes over this particular area because I just feel that I hold a lot of tension in that portion of my face. And then I'll move it upward and roll out the rest of my forehead in the same fashion. 
You don't have to use this with any kind of lotion or anything like that. Usually in the evenings, I will get out of the shower and just when my face is a little bit moist from the shower, use it across my face like this. Sometimes I will put lotion on or put a moisturizing mist and then roll over it and I really feel like it helps to push that moisture into your face. I feel that when I use this with a moisturizer that my face doesn't dry out as quickly, that it really pushes that moisture further into your skin. I do this at least once a day ever since I got it. Now you don't have to do it for a long period of time. Sometimes I just do a quick rolling across my face like I'm demonstrating here, but you really can do longer massages and do it more like three to four times a week. Now for the neck area, the drainage point is at the clavicle. So you wanna start from the top and then roll down, rolling towards that drainage point. So I usually will start at a base point and then slowly go up higher and slowly go up higher until I'm at the chin and then take three passes straight down. That's what feels the best for me, rolling out the neck area. Since I started using this, I have really noticed a difference in the evenness of my skin and the way that my complexion looks and especially the way that my skin feels. And it really is helping me to reduce puffiness and bags underneath my eyes, particularly first thing in the morning if I haven't gotten a whole lot of sleep. So that has been your closer look at this jade roller from Rose Nice. I can't verify whether or not this jade is authentic. I believe it says that it is real jade. Sometimes you can get ones that are glass and infused with a jade color. I have no way to verify that. For me, the healing properties of the jade stone, it's not necessarily super important that it has to be a real stone. It still works, that pressure and that rolling sensation still work nicely for my face. If that authenticity of the jade is really important for you, you're probably going to want to do some follow-up research to make sure that you're getting authentic jade in this roller. As always, you can find the product link for this particular product in my description below. And stay tuned for my review of the Gua Sha Tool.